Hey guys, Pseudotech here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going through another 10 packages to get us even closer to finishing the temporary system. Today we're going to be starting off with N Curses and finally finishing up with Grep. A lot of these are pretty short packages, so it shouldn't be too long of a video. I'd also like to mention that I am going to be releasing the fifth episode, so the next episode after this one, where we finish up all of the packages in the temporary system, just all of them done, next week, not in two weeks, even though I usually do an LFS series once every two weeks. I'm not making it all one video, because that would make it a lot harder on me, because these are actually, like, really kind of hard to capture. It's a lot of footage that I shrink down into one little section to make it more digestible for you guys, but hopefully this kind of gives the best of both worlds so that you guys can get on with it quicker. Anyway, let's get right into the video. Our first package, and Curses, is pretty short and easy to compile. Go ahead and unpack the tarball, change to the directory, and then we're going to ensure that gawk is found just to make sure that everything goes right during configuration. Go ahead and prepare it for compilation with a pretty short script, and then go ahead and do make and make install. I'm going to go ahead and use make-j4 just because I've kind of gotten used to it, and I'll do that for most of these packages. Especially for these small ones, it won't really make a difference, so whichever works for you. Again, if you get errors doing that, try it again using the single-threaded make to see if that solves the problem, because for some packages, it could. Our next package, bash, is again pretty small point for SPUs. Unpack the tarball, change it to the directory, and then run the script for compilation. It's a pretty short script, but it took a while for me for whatever reason to just wait through it. Do make, then make tests with an S at the end, I missed that the first time, and then make install. One thing I noticed about the bash make tests is that it gave me a lot of errors that it told me to just ignore. So I went ahead and ignored them, but I think most of them are alright. Just so you know, that's what I got, it should be fine for you as well. Finally, we're going to make a link for sh so that that command can be used to access the shell as well, similar to what we did for gcc. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and remove the finished directory, which if you didn't do from ends curses, then go ahead and do that again. Also, I forgot to mention it, but just to keep the system nice and small, we're going to go ahead and delete the files that we create by unpacking the tarball. Bzip2 is an insanely easy package to set up at less than 0.1 SPUs. Unpack the tarball, change the directory, and then just straight away run make. I'm not even going to bother doing dash j4 because it's really not going to make any difference here. Install the package by doing make and then setting prefix to slash tools, then it finally install. This is pretty much exactly the same thing that we're doing when we we're preparing the compilation process earlier, but we're just building it into the command for installing it. Querytools is a slightly longer program, but it's still pretty simple to set up. Go ahead and unpack the tarball as usual, change to the directory, and then prepare for compilation with the commands that you can find in the Linux from Scratch book. Use make to compile it. Next we're going to run a make check with run expensive tests equals yes, just to make sure that everything is set up correctly. Doing make check allows you to check for errors, obviously, and allows you to catch them if there are any before you go on, so we can have fewer issues in the long run. Finally, finish up with make install. Next is diffutils, which is another very simple package. Go ahead and unpack it, change the directory, configure it, compile it with make, do a make check just to make sure you have any errors, and finally make install. If you do have errors on the make checks, don't just skip over it because it could be a serious error, although generally it's not. If I have an error, it's likely you'll have the same one, so I'm making sure to show how I fixed it in every one that I have an error for, but if mine goes through fine, it's kind of hard for me to like show you what you should do. Feel free to leave a post on my forums at pseudotech.ml or in the comment section below, although the forums are a little bit better because it's just easier for me to get back to you. Otherwise, go ahead to like the Ubuntu forums or LFS forums or whatever you want. Ask around, search Google for it. There should be a pretty simple solution. Finish it off with make install. Our next package, file, has pretty much the exact same process as diffutils. So go ahead and unpack it, change the directory, configure it, make it, make chug it, and make install it. Kind of in the same boat for find details, same process, unpack it, change to the directory, prepare for compilation, making sure that the prefix is set to tools so it installs there, use make to compile it, make check to check it, and make install to install it. Gawk is the same thing again. Unpack it, change, prepare it, make, make check, make install. Pretty simple, I'm just breezing through these because for most of these you won't have errors since they're pretty minor programs. If you do have errors, let me know, but I, I don't know. If you need help, leave it in the comment section below. It just seems silly to take a long time on these. 
Get text is our second to last one, and it's really the only one that is slightly different. It's a bit more complicated to install because we're only installing certain sections of it. Go ahead and unpack it as usual, change to the directory, and then we're going to actually change to get text tools, which is a subdirectory of that. Run the script in the LFS book for preparing it for compilation, and we're going to use make c to compile five different parts of it. I just copied the whole section from the LFS book and pasted it in. Keep in mind that at the very last one, you're going to have to press enter again to get it to work. It should be pretty obvious when you see it, but I just wanted to make sure that no one skips that last package because it is important. Finally, we're going to copy, not using make install, but using cp-v, just regular old copy, the files that we just compiled into the tools slash bin folder. Our final package, grep, is another pretty simple one. Go ahead and unpack it, change to the directory, use the configure script that you can find in the Linux from scratch book, basically just setting the prefix to tools, use make, then make check, and then finally make install, and you're good to go. So that's about it for this episode. I know it was pretty short, but that's just because a lot of these packages were very small, and it doesn't take much explaining to get through them. In the next episode, I actually encounter a few errors, which I'll show you how to fix. Basically, we're just going to upgrade the package that we're currently using to a newer tarball, and that fixed my errors. So you might want to try that for some of the errors that you encounter along your way if I don't cover them. We're also going to finish up the compilation for the temporary system in the next video, and then I'm thinking in the next video about after that, we're going to finish up this entire chapter and then do the start into the next chapter so that in the video after that, we can get into even more compiling. So that's kind of my game plan for the next couple of episodes. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.